welcome to my class. So for today's topic, I'm going to discuss about quadratic equations and how to solve it in four different ways. So let us start and I hope you'll enjoy our lesson for today. Let us first define a quadratic equation. A quadratic equation in one variable is a mathematical sentence of degree 2 that can be written in the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. The values of a, b, and c are the numerical coefficients of the quadratic term, linear term, and constant term respectively. So therefore, it is a quadratic equation if the degree of the equation is 2 or the highest exponent is 2. Let us check if the following equations are quadratic or not. We have 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 is equal to 0. Since this is already arranged in standard form, we can say that this is an example of a quadratic equation because the degree of the equation is 2 or the highest exponent is 2. So we can say that 3 is the value of A, 5 is the value of B, and negative 2 is the value of C. Next example we have 5x times x minus 4 is equal to 0. To write an equation in standard form, we have to perform the necessary mathematical operations. So in this case, we will use the distributive property of multiplication, wherein we have to multiply 5x by x and 5x by negative 4, which gives us 5x times x is 5x squared while 5x times negative 4 positive times negative is negative so this will give us negative 20x is equal to 0 so this is already arranged in standard form so therefore we can now identify the values of a b and c so the value of a is 5, the value of b or the numerical coefficient of the linear term is negative 20. Since we don't have a constant, so the value of c would be 0. Another example that we have is 4x plus 1 squared is equal to 0. So this is an example wherein we just simply have to multiply the binomial by itself because it is raised to 2. So this gives us 4x plus 1 times 4x plus 1 is equal to Zero. Since these are two binomials, we can now apply the FOIL method, wherein we have to multiply the first terms first. So this is 4x times 4x. And then, after that is O, the outer. The outer terms are 4x times 1. Next, I or inner we have to multiply the inner terms, which is 1 times 4x. And L for last. Let us multiply the last terms, which are 1 times 1. So, that gives us 4x times 4x is 16x squared. Next, 4x times 1 is 4x inner. 1 times 4x is also 4x. And our last term would be 1 times 1 is 1 is equal to 0. We can now simplify this by combining similar terms. So the similar terms that we have here is 4x and 4x. So let us rewrite 16x squared 4x plus 4x gives us 8x. 
plus 1 is equal to 0. So, therefore, our equation is 16x squared plus 8x plus 1 is equal to 0, which is also an example of a quadratic equation where the value of a is 16, the value of b is 8, and the value of c is 1. Our last example would be x plus 3 times x minus 7 is equal to negative 12. Again, we have to simplify this by using the FOIL method since the left side of the equation are two binomials. So, we will multiply x times x gives us x squared. Then, we have x times negative 7 is negative 7x. Our e inner terms are 3 times x, which gives us positive 3x. And our last terms are 3 times negative 7, which gives us negative 21 is equal to negative 12. Next, let us combine similar terms. So, therefore, we shall have x squared and then we are to combine negative 7x and 3x. Negative 7x plus 3x is negative 4x minus 21 is equal to negative 12. This time, let us transfer negative 12 to the left side of the equation by simply transposing it to the left side by changing the sign from negative to positive. So, this gives us x squared minus 4x minus 21 from negative. This will become positive plus 12 is equal to 0. So, let us combine negative 21 and positive 12. So, we have x squared minus 4x negative 21 plus 12 gives us negative 9 is equal to 0. Now, we can say that this is an example of a quadratic equation wherein the value of a is 1 The value of b is negative 4 and the value of c is negative 9.